This is just going to be a quick response video to the Danish anti-natalist YouTuber Wessel Zapfa, which is also the name of a famous anti-natalist. He doesn't have a large following on YouTube for some rather uh, obvious reasons. No, no. I'm a sergeant. <laughs> like you're, you're under risk for having a great ass. <laughs> But I follow all of the anti-natalist YouTubers, and I don't necessarily hate or dislike his videos. He just says some very bizarre and disturbing things occasionally. At first I thought he had to be a troll, but then I realized that he was actually serious. Uh, it just seems like trolling to announce to an anti-natalist audience that one is eating bacon and hamburgers. I'm uh, eating some uh, rice and uh, bacon. Uh, oh. I'm here at Burger King and uh, it's fun to um... I'm, not, I'm not sure about the connection between veganism and, and internationalism, but it is interesting. Well, the co connection is that if uh, one person uh, supports the factory farms, then it creates more births from uh, for the animals. Oh yeah, yeah that's a good point. So he has the information Mr. Antinatalist person gave it to him, but yet he still eats bacon on camera. And okay, I know there's a lot of non-vegan antinatalists. I mean, it's just strange for them to do it, you know, kind of throwing it in our face. And I wasn't, you know, I did mention him in another video, but I wasn't going to make a video specifically about him until he made this. I'm an antinatalist because I believe it is evil and wrong to send people into this and on, it's unnecessary and it's, uh, it's unethical, it's immoral and so on. Uh, there's no reason to, to send um, sentient beings and, and people into uh, this um, reality that... that uh... and also I got hamster, I'm going to buy um, uh, a female hamster tomorrow, uh, a Syrian gold hamster, and uh, this, uh, uh, and I'm going to make like a ha hamster farm and and let them breed. I, I think that that's okay because uh, I'm doing it to make money. You know, I'm not the uh, <laughs> you know, and I'm not the father. You know, I, th I think it's uh, breeding hamsters is is okay for an antinatalist. I think. Yeah, I'm not necessarily a, a hamster antinatalist, you know, if you know what I mean. And 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 I and I, I'm not the father. Jason is going to be the father, and and I'm getting a a, a girlfriend for him tomorrow. I certainly don't like having to criticize other antinatalists or even vegans, actually. But if a vegan or an antinatalist is a breeder or plans on breeding, then they do deserve a comment at least. My contention is that even if Wessel Zapfa calls himself an antinatalist, he isn't one, based on this last video. I've been accused uh, of the no true Scotsman logical fallacy before, uh, because of this kind of strict definition I have of what is an antinatalist, but also because I've said that a vegan who gives birth isn't a real vegan, and a, that a classical utilitarian isn't a real utilitarian. But I will acknowledge that one could be a breeder and also hold the antinatalist position and a meat eater can be an animal rights activist, but these types of people, even if we must concede to them a certain label, they are very bad examples of these positions and are ideological hypocrites. Yeah, uh, yeah, I read Peter Singer like 10 years ago and it, it, it uh, seemed uh, reasonable to me. You know, animal liberation and all that. I don't see how anyone can really refute that. I mean, and deny that uh, that sentient be other sentient beings. Uh, I mean, it's just as bad for them. I mean, even even worse, maybe sometimes. Like like when you see when you play with a cat, you know, they can get like really really scared. You know, like uh, and it, it seems very unpleasant to them. They they don't know what's going on, and you know. <laughs> this is going to also be a defense of the position that, by definition, antinatalism is anti-birth. Period. Birth for any sentient animal is a guaranteed negative and should not be allowed to happen. If one wants to say that they read Benatar and decided that they will not procreate and they consider themselves to be antinatalists, 
but they also eat animals and think that breeding them for some human purpose is good, then I do have a problem with that. They might consider themselves to be antinatalists, and many hold the bigoted belief that the definition of antinatalism is exclusive to human beings, but it's clearly a flawed, hypocritical, and inconsistent position to hold. So as a way out of this hypocrisy, Zappho says, and I'm paraphrasing here, but I'm not breeding, the hamsters are, so I am not violating antinatalist ethics. But even a five-year-old can see through this half-baked excuse. If you allow breeding to happen by not using birth control during intercourse, then you could foolishly say, I didn't breed, the sperm did. It's a really rotten justification. But more accurately, he's making the excuse of irresponsible dog and cat owners who don't get their companion animals spayed and neutered. It's all but guaranteeing birth. Zapfa is transferring the shame and criminality of procreation onto innocent animals who don't know any better. While some use the insult hamster brain to describe a stupid person, they are actually clever little rodents who share the exact same desires as humans. They seek comfort and avoid pain, just like us. And they face the same torments of hunger, thirst, anxiety, pain, emotional anguish, and eventually death. Zapfa's second excuse is that he will be breeding animals for sale and profit and this somehow makes it more ethical. But in reality, it makes it much worse, of course. Breeding any animal for personal gain is wrong. What he is planning to do is no different than a parent who creates life to satisfy their own selfish desires. The suffering you'll be creating is of greater value than the money you'll be depositing in your bank account, just in the same way that the joy moments some breeding human believes they'll experience can in no way make up for their imposition of suffering, disease, and death. A consistent antinatalist would never buy an animal from a pet store or support the pet industry in any way. The only reason I live with dogs is because they are on death row before I adopted them. If Zapfa wants more hamsters, he needs to locate an animal shelter and adopt one. Rodent shelters do exist as I adopted a ferret from one. Animals sold in pet stores are nothing but commodities. They are not given any kind of a decent life and are often starved and abused. They are kept in filthy conditions exposed to abuse and illness, and deprived of water and veterinary care. We should never buy an animal from a pet store. But private breeders are just as bad and are no different than the breeders of African slaves 200 years ago. Human life was nothing more than a sale to them. We as a culture now believe that this was wrong. Yet how is it any different than what breeders do to innocent animals who never asked to be born? So I implore you, please, Please do not buy another pet store hamster to breed with. Hamsters are solitary animals and don't like companions of their own species. You could put them together in the same cage and wake up to a scene of nightmarish horror. I have caught two mice in the same live trap before and the results were highly unpleasant to say the least. Practical reasons against human procreation also apply here. You could die in an accident and then who would take care of them? What if you died in your sleep and no one was around to feed them or give them water? These are things that selfish breeders don't think about. Schopenhauer, Benatar, Inmendum, and all of the proponents of antinatalism were or are against using animals for food, profit, or fun. It's a gross exploitation of a sentient being's welfare.